Let's say you go to a store to buy some grocery and as soon as you enter the store you see a board which says discount of 5% will be provided on all items. Now you go further and pick up the item that you want to purchase and on that item there is a label or the marked price which says that the marked price is rupees 380 and then you start calculating in your mind as to what is the price at which the store is actually going to sell it to you so let's see how to calculate the selling price so the selling price will be equal to the marked price minus the discount that is being provided on the marked price. So selling price will be equal to 380 which is the marked price minus 5% of 380. So this is equal to 380 minus so 5% so 5 divided by 100 of means multiply by 380. So this is equal to 380 minus, so 0, 0 cancel, so 5 ones are 5 and 5 twos are 10, 2, 38 by 2, so 2 ones are 2, 2 nines are 18, so 380 minus 19 and this is equal to, so 10 minus 9 is 1, so this, this becomes 7. 7 minus 1 is 6 and 3 so 361 rupees is the selling price now let's look at some alternate methods of calculating this so we know that discount is 5 percent on rupees 380 so the selling price will be the remaining which is the 95 percent so let's say this in its entirety is 100 percent and the discount is 5 percent so the selling price is going to be 95 percent of rupees 380 so you can quickly calculate the selling price by multiplying 380 with 0 0.95 that is we are trying to find the 95 percent of 380 so ideally it will be 380 multiplied by 95 upon 100 and this will become 0.95. So this will also give you the same answer which is 361 rupees. Now if you don't have a calculator handy and you're finding it difficult to multiply 380 by 0.95 and you're standing in the shop and you want to really calculate it mentally. So what you do is you know in your mind that you have to deduct 5% of 380 from 380. So basically if you know 5% of 380 then you can do a subtraction mentally. Now the easiest way is 10% is equal to 38 and 5% will be this divided by 2. Now this is equal to 19. So this is 5% which is 38 by 2 and which is equal to 19 and then what you need to do is you need to subtract 19 from 380 so 380 minus 19 so what you can also do is round this off to the next easy number which is say 20 subtract 380 by 20 so you get 360 so this becomes 361 so 361 rupees is the selling price. Now let's take another example. So let's say this is one. So let's take another example. Let's say that we know the discount, which is 12%. And we know the selling price, which is 836 rupees and we have to find what is the marked price 
Now here we know that the discount is calculated on the marked price and after deducting the discount from the marked price we get the selling price. So here the selling price so 836 is equal to the marked price let's say marked price is x so x minus the discount on the marked price so this is the original marked price and then we deduct the discount and that will be equal to the selling price so minus 12 percent of x because this is the discount so or 836 is equal to x minus so 12 by 100 multiplied by x or 836 is equal to x minus so 12 divided by 100 so there are two zeros in the denominator so we can remove these two zeros and put decimal at two places so 0 0.12 times x or 836 is equal to so 1 minus 0.12 which is 0 0.88 times x or so let's bring this 0 0.88 on the other side so it's a multiplication here when you bring it on the other side it will become division so 836 divided by 0 0.88 is equal to x or x is equal to so 836 divided by 0 0.88 which is 950 rupees so this is the marked price on which when we give 12 percent discount we get a selling price of 836 rupees now let's look at a quick way of arriving at this calculation so we know that after deducting 12% from the marked price we get the selling price of 836 rupees. Now let's say the marked price is a hundred percent and if we deduct 12% from this we will get 836 rupees. So 12% if you deduct from 100% it becomes 88% now 88% of x simply whatever percent of x you can put decimal at two places so it becomes 0.88 and you multiply by x so this is 88% of x which is nothing but the marked price the x is the marked price so this is marked price and this is the percentage which is remaining after deducting a discount of 12% from X. And this is equal to the selling price which is 836. So X is equal to 836 divided by 0 0.88 which is equal to 950 rupees.